Hi, so today we're going to be making a compound pulley. We're going to need some materials to make these two pulleys that will lift a heavy object. We're going to need cardboard, string, toothpicks, skewers, or even cable ties. We're going to need some glue, a pair of scissors, and a pen or a pencil to trace. We're also going to need two bottles. We're mainly going to need the caps from these bottles. And then also to trace my pulleys, I'm going to use this old Nando's to trace out the circle of the pulley. All right, let's get started. To begin, we're gonna trace out our four circles that'll be our pulleys. Once we've traced them, we're gonna cut them out. Just like that, we have two sides of the pulley. And now that we have all four sides that are gonna make two pulleys, we can start cutting them out to make our pulleys. Let's cut out each of these circles. Now we have all four sides that are needed to make our pulleys. All right, let's get out one of our toothpicks and make a hole in the center of our pulley, just so that the toothpick comes through. Now we're gonna do that and make holes on all four of our pulleys. A fun trick to get all the holes in the same place is by putting the two circles on top of each other, putting it through the first original hole and pushing it through. Perfect. All right, all four have holes. Now let's take our caps off of our bottles. We need both caps for this so that both of our pulleys have centers to them. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna make holes in the center of these so that we can paste them and glue them onto these pulleys so that we can have a pulley system just like this. Let's get started. A quick and easy way to make the holes into your cap is to take your scissors, place your cap on a surface that you don't mind getting damaged putting your scissors directly in the middle of your cap and then spinning the cap underneath the scissors. This will get the scissors to go through the cap perfectly and you will get a nice center hole. Let's check our hole out now. And just like that, we have a hole. Now let's take our toothpicks and put it through the holes just to make sure that they can go through and that they are spaced evenly. And just like that, we nearly have our pulleys done. Let's do it to the other one. Let's take our toothpick, put it right in the center hole and push it through. Make sure to watch out for your fingers so you don't hurt yourself. And there you go, you have and nearly pulley. Once you have both these, we can take our glue and put glue on the first on the flat side of the pulley and glue down one of the sides of the pulley. Then we'll put some glue around the edge of this cap, take another part of our pulley and through there, and glue it down so that we have this, our first pulley. All right, now that we have our two pulleys that are being glued together and made into two pulleys, what we can do now is take one of our bottles and cut it around this so we can make this into a bucket which can hold its weight and be pulled up by the pulley. Let's get cutting. Now that we have our bucket, we can continue using our scissors to make two holes in the sides of the bucket. All right, 
our bucket has its two holes on either side. Now let's take our string and thread it through those two holes so that we can create our bucket. Now thread it through one of the holes. Tie a little knot so that you make sure that it's stuck on there tight. knot and we can take this side and we can thread it through here now let's tie our knot on the side all right now we have our bucket that hangs. Let's just cut off this excess string and then continue. My string was a bit too long. So what I did was I cut the string on either side, one on the side, one on the side, and then tied a little knot in the center so that the string could be shorter to lift a heavy object. All right. All right, now that we have our bucket, we can take our pulleys we can take our string and let's make our pulley system by threading it through each of these pulleys. So now before we attach to our pulleys, we have to tie a string to this side of the pulley and to this side. This will be the movable pulley. We need to tie this on here so that we can attach our bucket. Now that we have our string attached to our movable pulley, let's attach it to the bucket. I'm gonna use these two little strings to tie in the middle of this so I can pull up the object. And just like that, our weight is tied to our movable pulley. All right. All right, to make this pulley work, we're going to need to tie our fixed point onto one end of a rod. I'm going to use this cloth hanger. Now that our cloth hanger has been attached to the fixed point, let's thread it through our pulleys. It's first going to go underneath the movable pulley and up and above the fixed pulley. Alright, now that both pulleys have been attached to the rod, let's see how it works. And there you go. There's our weight, and here's our weight falling. Now, let's test it again. Here's our pulley attached to our rod with our fixed pulley here at the top and our movable pulley there at the bottom with the weight. Now, if we pull on the string, the pulleys will allow the weight to be lifted. All right, so now we have our pulley. Let us add some extra weight into the bucket to see how it goes. I'm going to add in my pen and my glue into the bucket here at the bottom. And let's see how the pulley does. Once we are pulling on the top move, uh, fixed pulley, the movable pulley will move up and up. If we let go, it will move down. Once again, let's pull it up. And just like that, we have a pulley system. Thank you so much for watching. Hopefully you can make one at home too.